So today's a cart hair, don't care kind of day. It's absolutely stunning here in the villages. The um, humidity is low, sky is blue, the grass is green, the temperatures in the lower 80s, which for me is El Primo. And um, I'm going to make my way up to um, some stores. So I'm going to show you how I do that in the golf cart. So currently I am on a multimodal path, which means it is for golf carts, bicyclers, um, uh, not skateboarders, but I suppose skateboarders too, because it is multimodal. Um, and it can be for rollerbladers, uh, certainly for walkers. So that's the multimodal path. And that's what I'm on right now. There will be times where I'm actually riding on the road. Um, Morse Boulevard has some um, uh, places that are north of uh, County Road 466 that you actually ride on the road in the golf cart lane. So I'll show you that as well. So uh, bear with me as I do this while I'm driving my golf cart. So children, don't do this. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm a child, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so um, we'll just pray that I will be safe and well. And um, yeah, we'll see what my hair looks like after this. It's not windy out today. So um, I think my hair is gonna be okay. So it's gonna be a golf cart, golf, wait, cart hair don't care day. And I think I'll look good from the beginning to the end. So that's always my hope, but it is what it is. So here's a multimodal path that runs beside Buena Vista Boulevard. And Buena Vista Boulevard goes north and south on um, through the villages. So here it is, and I've pulled alongside here where there's just a beautiful pond. I'm just near the Lake Mayona area. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to head up that way. As a side note, you can see that people come here to walk their dogs all the time. And I did see an alligator over here. And of course, this gentleman says that he keeps his puppy dogs up this far, so it's no problem. But I did see an alligator and uh, he's gone under the water. And another thing is how do we get to the other side of the road? That's always a big question as well. We're on one side of Buena Vista and we've got to get on the other. So we're gonna go through an underpass. for traffic and um, they're coming through and sometimes it's a challenge to get out of here um, but we're gonna get there um, gonna wait for this car to go through and then I'm gonna turn oh he's gonna let me go thank you and so um, now I'm gonna go on the uh, outer loop of um, Lake Sumter Landing to get over. So see how I'm driving on the road? And now here you can see there's a cart lane. See that? So I'm staying in the golf cart lane and other cars can pass me of course. And I'm going to stay in this golf cart lane um, until I get to uh, Forest Boulevard. Now there's going to be a place up here where I am going to have to merge into the car lane. And you're going to see it. It's going to say, there's going to be a sign coming up here that says merge into traffic. And I put my turning signal on. I put my hand out to turn left. And then I merge into traffic. 
ahead and you never go in a roundabout. So now there's a turning lane here. Do you see this turning lane? I've got my signal on. I'm going to turn left into the multimodal path that goes along Morse Boulevard. So there I am now and you'll see that Morse Boulevard is going to be on my right. There it is. And we're going to go over that bridge. So I'm going to get up here. Now this bridge definitely is a narrow bridge and it's recommended that you go 10 miles an hour. This bridge takes you over the water at Lake Sumter. Outlet. Uh, there's 
ice cream places, there's restaurants, all kinds of things in this Target Plaza. But here we are, and now again, we act like a car. We drive around and find our parking place, and that's what we do. I caution you to be careful in a, um, a parking lot with cars and golf carts, because sometimes the cars don't see you, and um, you just have to be very careful. Out of this parking lot, you can go back the way you came, or I like to do a different way. I go um, into the town square, but I go on the outside of it. So this is what I'm doing. So the town square, I would go to the right to go around the square, but instead I'm going to go left and go on the outskirts of it. I just don't want to get into the traffic. And this takes us behind the McCall's, which is also the bowling alley. And we can avoid the town square this way. Now again, if you want to go to the town square to eat or to shop, certainly you can do that. But for me, I'm heading back home, so I am going to go around the back side of the town square a parking lot. I'm going to get back on this road and it's going to take us out of the square. So here we're going to cross Avenida again. And remember, Avenida is a road that a golf cart can, can go on. If we took Avenida, it would take us up to Publix and it would take us to Target again. We just circled around it. Um, but we're going to go through this gate and all you have to do is push the red button to go through it or let the attendant let you through. Either way, it's going to work. We're going to cross here. We're still acting like a car on the road, but once we get through the gate, we'll find the cart path and we'll go on the cart path through the gate. Then we're going to scoop over and get back into the cart path to head back home. So I'm taking this um, detour kind of through one of the villages, and when you turn into, when you turn off of the main road and turn into one of the villages, you literally are driving in a car lane. There is no car path. There's just car lanes. And um, you drive like a car. Uh, there should be no passing here because you're only supposed to be going, I think, 25 through here. So your golf carts go about 21. So that shouldn't be an issue for anyone to have to pass you. Um, and so again, you behave just like a car. I'm going to turn here, so I have my signal on, and I'm turning. And again, you don't see a cart path, so that means you just drive like a car. If there were a cart path, certainly you would get your cart over onto the cart path. And I'm going to turn here, and this is now going to take me to Morse Boulevard, and I'm going to head south on Morse. So we know that Morse Boulevard has a cart path. into the lane and then we're getting into the turning lane for the golf carts. We're on the 
other side of Morse. Now we have to get uh, on the south side of 466, County Road 466. So we're going back under that underpass to start heading south of County Road 466. Here we go back into that tunnel that we came out of earlier. Where we started and uh, I think the hair was pretty much a success not too horrible and um, we made it all the way up to the Target Plaza and the Publix Plaza and back unscathed so um, it's really very easy it's nothing to be afraid of um, you got to just dive in and do it and um, you know they really give you a lot of good markers and uh, the paths are really really good so um, hope that helps you as you um, prepared to live a life down here in the villages.